Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. That's the thing. That extra spot, okay, you, you are correct. But every single time we pull an extra spot, they usually keep eight linemen. You got to pull it from somewhere, right? But where everybody's already saying they're keeping an extra D lineman. Nick Bosa literally said that at the press conference. Like, oh, we got to keep an extra D lineman, at least one. So I have five wide receivers. Therefore, that extra spot goes to the D-line. So if we're keeping nine O linemen, I think you got to get rid of a running back. And I don't want to do that. We're not getting rid of a running back. We've seen running back injuries more than Mm -hmm. any other position. The crazy thing is, is five the number for you for running backs? Mine's four and one, yeah. So if you're counting. So four and one. So I'm five and and one, one. right? Oh, so you're doing an extra. Right. So I'm doing. You're doing six running backs. Well, yeah, because of juice, right? I think I'm doing six. I'm doing TDP. Let's go to the running back spot next then. Bump okay, it. yeah, good call. Okay. <laughs> Last so, year, they kept five, four, and juice. one. Oh, they kept yeah, four, four and one. Four plus one. Oh, four then it's one. the Last same. Last year was then, Mostert, uh-huh. Sermon, Mitchell, Hasty, Juszczyk. Then it's the same. I'm sorry. It's the same. It's okay. four and one. Yeah. Four and one. Four so, and one. all right, we all know Elijah Mitchell's in. Mitchell. TDP, he's in. Trey Sermon is in. I don't care what people say. Which, time out real quick, because I think I want to talk about, again, this is training camp battles, not so much roster stuff. I want to know your thoughts on running back two, because I think clearly they drafted TDP to be the two. Yes. I think Trey Sermon is having a great ass off season, and he's going to be the running back two. I think Trey Sermon is going to be running back two. I'm, I'm saying it right now. I think TDP is brought in to sustain the running backs, the inquiry of the running backs to sustain that, to sustain drives, to to give the the team more depth, and then he will develop into what we want him to be at some point. Will he come in there and make a bunch of some big plays? Yep, but he's going to be in there to to really help the running backs stay healthy yeah. throughout the rest of the season. So it's the 49ers way. It's the dang, dang, the, 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 yeah that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what they say and how, oh, he's ready right now, and we want him the one-two punch and all that stuff. doesn't matter. The entire plan for every single rookie has been slowly bring them into the fold. That's it. It doesn't matter unless, what you are. It doesn't matter what position. Unless injuries. Unless and injuries. That's how we got Mitchell. That's how we got Mitchell. Unless injuries, right. Because if Mostert wasn't injured, Mitchell would have slowly – he would have had a, a good battle between him and Sermon, which he outbeat Sermon. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay, and this is this is the hard one. I've got a lot of flack for this because I have stated several times mm-hmm. that I think Elijah Mitchell, I'm sorry, we'll back up. Jamichael Hasty, the coaching staff has more faith in him than Jeff Wilson. But okay, here's where I am quote here's where I'm wrong. Wilson was getting all the first team reps through camp. Correct. Wilson was. And he was the press conference guy for the position. And that carries weight. Eh, can I explain the 49er way a little bit more, Dev? Let's do this. Could they possibly be highlighting him to trade him? They've made some good trades. You remember the Brita? That's how we got. You Colton already Davis. know where I'm going with this, bro. And they do it for linebackers and running backs. You ever notice that? Yeah. Linebackers and running backs. So if you see Mitchell get an abundance of showcasing, which is good for him, right? Because now he's not in a log jam of running back rooms. And I think Mitchell just needs to to the touches, bro. I like but, I mean not Mitchell, um Wilson. All right. I, I gotta do some research here, okay? Because here's the deal. If he gets traded, and that's a big if, Jeff Wilson, you're gonna trade him to one of the Shanahan off sprouts. Absolutely. Correct? Yep. Jets, uh Dolphins. Okay. Them two teams. <laughs> if that's the case, them two teams, because uh, I was thinking Jets or Dolphins too. Okay, but they loaded up on running backs. Listen to the running backs that the Jets have: oh, Brees shoot. Hall, who they drafted. Yep. Zonovan Knight, Ty Johnson, Michael Carter. They drafted big. Michael P. Ryan, Tevin Coleman. I mean that that's the running backs they have on their roster now. So you mean tell me they're going to trade and give no. up assets? No, It'd be would, like a seventh. That that wouldn't make sense. That would make sense from a Jets standpoint, unless there's an injury. And I, the one thing about those teams, they do know if Jeff Wilson gets the ball, what he can do. 
So I would take Jeff Wilson Jr. over Tevin Coleman any day. Oh, of course. I would take him over P. Ryan any day. Like that, that, I would take Jeff Wilson over those two. So if you want to get rid of those vets, cut them guys, bring in Jeff Wilson. Now you're talking, and then let those guys battle it out because I think Jeff Wilson is a running back one. And I think it would be. You remember I, I was doing a a breakdown. Gosh, who was it on today? Oh, Charlie Warner. The way in which the 49ers got Charlie Warner was a freaking stroke of genius. We kind of forget. They packaged their seventh rounder and mm. Marquise Goodwin sent him to Philly and got back a sixth. So they jumped up 50 know. spots, uh, like 240 to 190, I think it was off the top of my head. They jumped up 50 spots and got Charlie Warner. If, if, this is a big if, they do trade Jeff Wilson, I think it'd be in a deal like that, right? Where they package Jeff Wilson and a seventh and get back a sixth. Now, let's look at Miami, okay? I just pulled up their depth chart at running back. Chase Edmonds, Lynn Bowden, who they traded for, Miles Gaskin, uh, Zaquandre White, who they drafted out of Georgia, Raheem Mostert, Sony Michelle, Salvin Ahmed, who they got from the 49ers, Patrick Laird, Jared yeah, Dokes. They, they got freaking 12 quarterbacks. So, so, all right, so he won't be traded to those two teams. <laughs> But there, there, there are 30 other teams that he could possibly get traded to. Yeah. Subtract all the NFC West teams. Yeah, well said. Well said. The Raiders, they're always going after running backs. You gonna trade I mean, to teams the are going to need running backs, and teams want Kyle Shanahan running backs. They do. They do. They do.